Hello guys, in this video I'd like to show you how to disable CSRF in Subring Security 6.x or later. I am Nam Haming at code Java.net. You know, a common issue when developing Subring applications with Subring Security version 6.x or later is that the statement HTTP security dot CSRF uh, dot disable is no longer valid in the new version of Subring Security 6.x. The solution is to use Subring DSL syntax domain specific language with Lambda expression. Let me show you. I have a Java Subring project here, and you see uh, my security configuration class. You see. I use new version of Subring Boot that comes with new version of Subring Security. Here you can see I use Subring Boot version 3.2.4 that comes with Subring Security 6.x. And let me show you Subring Security. Let me Subring Security version 6.2.3. Okay, so to disable CSRF, we need to update the code in the security configuration class like this. You know, in new version of Subring Security, the security config class uses the annotation Subring, sorry, the annotation configuration and uh, declare bins, a bin of type uh, security filter chain like this to configure HTTP security. Okay, and to disable CSRF, we write the code like this. After the code that authorizes HTTP request, we call CSRF. It is the method, and then we use DSL syntax like this. CSRF 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 dot disable disable to disable csrf uh, protection in subring security you see very simple so far you have seen how to disable csrf in subring security version 6 by x or later note that uh, you should not disable csrf if the subring application is using web forms as CSRF protection is designed to prevent attacks using malicious web form submissions. However, you can disable CSRF protection for REST APIs as it has no risk uh, because a REST APIs are stateless. Each request must convey authentication information itself. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.